Nursing home horror stories are difficult to hear, but we'll keep telling them. Our recent report into one facility that detailed appalling conditions for its residents led to a federal government investigation. The findings are damning. This facility was found to have a serious and dangerous neglect of its people. It wasn't just one failure, this was a catastrophic failure across all of the eight compliance areas. For families with loved ones inside, Cottage 3, they say, was a house of horrors. When we took it to hospital, I didn't think she coming home. Peter says his wife Heather was just one resident infected with scabies and his daily visits resulted in him catching the condition as well. Is that acceptable in 2020, these sorts of conditions for people to live in? Scabies. So, with South Australian politician Frank Pangallo, we uncovered doctors' reports confirming the highly contagious infestation of the skin. They had dementia people. They can't speak for themselves. You know? And that's what's so sad about it. It's like an 18th century asylum. Former staff who quit in disgust told us little was done to fix the problem. Screaming, yelling. Itching. Residents are actually screaming in pain. Yes. yes. And we aired undercover video and photographic evidence of filthy, run-down conditions inside. It's all being addressed, so... Oh, but the families aren't saying that. Gentlemen, is that being addressed for you? Not as much, no. No, I, no. With management claiming nothing to see here. And how long has your wife been in this facility in these sorts of conditions? 20 months. 20 months. 20 months. How long does the talk go on for, Juanita? No, sorry. How long does the talk go on for? Well, the talk is over and action has taken place. Kindred Living now is, is subjected to weekly hookups with the Aged Care Quality Commission. They have an independent oversight team there who are working with them to work through the compliance issues. Stuart Johnson's mother was mistreated in another aged care facility and he has taken it upon himself to be an advocate for families with loved ones who may be mistreated or neglected in aged care homes. This is occurring right around the nation in various facilities and it never sees the light of day. Well, we highlighted this one and after our story, federal inspectors moved in to Cottage 3 at Kindred Living in the South Australian city of Wyala and discovered, in their words, an immediate and severe risk to the safety, health and well-being of care recipients. A nursing advisor and new systems have now been put in place with sanctions to follow if things don't improve soon. But Stewart says there are many more homes escaping the spotlight. There are so many, nearly 7,000 reports a year of mistreatment in aged care across the nation and that's around probably 30% that actually get reported. At least one facility is now on notice and the lives of some vulnerable residents will improve. There'll be more stories like that when the final Royal Commission report into aged care is released in the coming weeks.